Uh, hip hop gamer. Beat Press start. Yeah, you know what time it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what time it is. Brooklyn. Yeah, you know what time it is. Hip hop gamer, no stranger to danger. Wreck your breaker, shot taker, play maker. I show nothing but love. That's how I got greater. But those that don't see it, they stay stuck with the haters. Hip hop gamer, no stranger to greatness. So drop that. Got gameplay, I overwatch that. Biggie small, life at the death, so we respond back. Red dot, headshot, red spots on your hard hat. This is what New York sounds like in the saw that. Concrete core killer rap game, raw spit a frame data play sicker, so you got. Gotta aim quick, the best out. Ready for war, we got the painkillers. Feeling like Mike in the game. Oh, thriller. Oh, this is New York City, we the home of the gritty. Gotta feel me, put the game on. And if you really ride with me, throw it up, press start, play a part when we pop on. This is New York City, we the home of the gritty. Gotta feel me, put the game on. And if you really ride with me, throw it up, press start, play a part when we pop on. My grandma told me to be the best that I can be So I took the game industry by the balls And believed in me and equally merged it with verses So anybody wanna battle Get a pen in a battle with two controllers Focus, the flow is explosive Breaking every barrier and parry all opposes Yeah, the game is mine and it's time to be ferocious You can call me rap god when it comes to game and culture Embrace who I am and the world is gonna see it The game industry, everybody wanna be in it It's funny how the leaderboards will show you what is missing And I get it now I got it cause I I am top of position, listen from the hood, growing up, we ain't have much, playing PlayStation with friends, felt like we had enough, it was those days with Sega, how we was raised up, gotta love Sonic, cause Lost Rings that came up, whoa, whoa, this is New York City, we the home of the gritty, gotta feel me, put the game on, and if you really ride with me, throw it up, press start, play a part when we pop on, this is New York City, we the home of the gritty, gotta feel me, put the game on, this is New York City. This is New York City. We the home of the gritty. Press start when we pop ball. This is New York City. This is New York City. We the home of the gritty. Press start when we pop ball. What's up? It's the one and only hip hop gamer, Hot 97, Logitech G. I have a legend in the building. I want everybody to put your hands together and give it up for one of the greatest actors of our time, the infamous Morris Chestnut. Oh, man. I like that. Let's go. I need to get on stage. You're my hype man. I'm hype. Yes, yeah, son. Hype man. Let's get on Let's stage. Get- <laughs> Let's get it. I went into. I'm actually an artist too. I make salsa video games. So, but anyway, we gonna get. Yeah, we gonna get into this. So, Morris, first question, bro. This is very, very important, bro. Yeah. PlayStation or Xbox? What are we doing? PlayStation or Xbox? I'm, I'm, I'm PlayStation generation. I know, I know everybody's on Xbox, but I've, I've just always been a, a, a PlayStation cat. As a matter of fact, that's because when I was playing Mad, you know, I did my thing in the gaming. I did my thing in the game <laughs> section, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you noticed, but I, I was on uh I, I was on the Madden game. I was on oh, Madden no um you was uh uh if I'm not mistaken, I think it was the um the the long the long shot. If if I'm not mistaken, I think no, that was right. a- I, what happened was I won uh a previous uh, Madden championship and so the winner that won they put you on the next game and they had me holding up my trophy and everything. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. So I got more gaming questions for you later, but right now we got to jump into our kind of people. So this, like from looking at the trailers and everything, this seems like it's going to be a show that's going to create a lot of uncomfortable conversations and stuff like that. So what I want to ask you is um, not just only being an actor, but the tone of the show, like what, what drew you to it? Like what about this concept made you want to be a part of it and what you think people are going to get out of it? Um, yeah, that's one of the things after reading the script and I, I saw that we were going to, we were going to tackle some issues that may be uncomfortable to discuss within our 
community. Um, although that they were, un they may be uncomfortable to discuss, they need to be discussed. So that was one of the things that excited me about it. But it's just the world that we really haven't seen on television. You know, we're talking about the black elite, uh, especially particularly on network television. And mm -hmm. so the opportunity to, to, um, to play these characters and, and convey this life to the world was just something I was just excited about. Now, this is amazing because it makes me think about Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. You know what okay. I'm saying? How you have the black elite, but then you got, you know, Fresh Prince for Philly coming to see this whole new world. You know what I'm saying? So when I look at this uh, particular setting, one question that may be uncomfortable that may come up is like, there's a part where the girl said, I can't wait to join the sisterhood. And then the girl said, well, you ain't a sister yet. But in everyday life, when we talk about our brothers and sisters, it's like we all supposed to be together. So it's like you, you deal with color, then you deal with class, you deal with all these things. So what my question to you is um, when it comes to maneuvering, you know, around uh, this particular world, what's some of the things that... Um, you would want to share, you know, with the audience on the importance of focusing on who you are rather than what you have. Yeah, that's great. That's a great question. And I, I think that's important in life in general, um, not even just particularly with this show or this environment. Um, it's always important to focus on who you are, um, because you have to know, in my opinion, all it's just my opinion. So you have to know who you are to really know where you're trying to get to. Because life throws so many curveballs at you. Life is going to, we always, there's no blueprint to life, right? There's no blueprint to say, okay, um, I'm going to go. I'm, it's not like, it's not like college where I just know I have to take, you know, let me have a full four, let me have, you know, four, four, four units every semester. And by the time I'm done, I'll get my degree. Life doesn't mm. work like that. And so you really have to know who you are to be able to deal with the challenges the extreme challenges of, of life. In particular with this show, um, yes. So one of the issues, we do deal with colorism in the show. We do deal with um, class, um, uh, different levels of class in this show. And those mm. are things that really need to be talked about, particularly in our community to where, um, A, we feel that we're judged or people might be uh, feel like they, they're, they're treated differently uh, because of maybe the colorism or because of how much money they have. And so that's, that's one of the things I'm excited to, 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 to get into with the show. Yo, I can't wait, bro. I'm so hyped for this joint, son. So I now major question for you. So I just had Cuba Gooden Jr. on the show last week. Right? So for me personally, I got Trey and Ricky. Like this, this, this in my mind. So I gotta ask you, um, in terms of your skill set yes. as an actor and yes. preparation and things of that nature, when you think about your infamous role and that infamous moment in Boys in the Hood, like can you tell us about how that moment, how it impacted you then, but how it developed your skill set? And all the other movies and, and, and acting roles that you've gotten along the way that led you to be one of the best we've ever seen in our generation. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, it to me, I try to learn something from every role, from every job. And that that particular that you, you brought up Cuba, you know, I was just trying to I was getting so much information from him because he had already been in the industry at that time. I was always asking him questions about the industry. How does this work? How does that work? So you, you bring him up and bringing up Boys in the Hood, it really took me back to a place to where it was, I was just a man. I was just a young pup, just uh, <laughs> in the game. And uh, it takes me back to a good place. Yo, that's amazing. So now, because I'm a gamer, we, we got to dive a little deeper. What, one thing I want to ask you is, and I've been asking a lot of actors this, uh, when it comes to these brand new shows that's coming out, like, have you ever thought about or even spoke with Lee Daniels and all these other people saying, hey, look, you know, with these particular shows, like, you know, we get older over time, there's certain things like that, things change. Have you ever thought about taking this skill set and bringing it into the gaming world and stuff like that? Which Could you ever see this show actually being a video game one day? And what more would you want to do in the gaming industry in terms of yourself, voice acting, all types of stuff? So first of all, let me understand. So when you say um, take the skill set of a show into the gaming world, what exactly do you mean? 
Oh, great question. So what I mean is, um, if you play uh, Grand Theft Auto or something like that, you controlling your character, there's a storyline, and you get a chance to move from point A to point B, play the game, and move further in the story. And a lot of times when you tell a story in a game, you feel more connected because this is something that's interactive versus passive entertainment that you sit and watch. You play a role in yeah, controlling yeah. it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, you know, I think, I mean, doing something like this for that would be great. Um, I think the, the challenge would be, and it would, it would be a great challenge to figure out, is to how to connect to the the, the, the gaming world to, to hold their interest, because there's so much involved in the gaming, right? Um, the gaming is, is fantasy. I mean, go, even going back to Dungeons and Dragons back, back, in, back in the day day, but it's... it's a, <laughs> You know, it's a little bit of it's a little bit of fantasy, and it's a little bit of um, it's, it's it's fantasy combining fantasy with the challenge because that's what the gaming is. It's a challenge basically from getting to point A to point B, and then um, within that challenge, like you say, the story it helps enhance that enhance the achievement of getting to point to point, to point B. So that that's interesting. I'm I'm, I'm gonna think about that. That's interesting. All right, the reason why I want to ask you that, because when you just talked about like the connection or the bridge, yeah. you're looking at them. I'm hip hop gamer for a reason. Oh. So, I, so, and, and I, I know where it could go because this is like, I lived this life, you know, so I know where it could go. So now my next uh, question and last question regarding gaming, uh, Kevin Durant, Shaquille O'Neal, like so many people, they are a part of different esport organizations. You talked about Madden, and we have a lot of Madden battles, even with different colleges, HBCUs and stuff like that. Do you think that like esports could be something that you could tap into as a whole nother opportunity and revenue stream to grow your portfolio as an actor and also just as a um, person that likes to uh, uh, grow uh, financially as well? Yeah, I mean, trust me, I would, I would love to. I mean, the, the games have evolved to a point to where I, I wish I could. One of the reasons why I wasn't able to pay, keep playing Madden because I still love. I watch Madden. I watch the Madden tournaments on ESPN. I, I'm just, I, I'll just be a Madden head forever. But it's, it's hard for me to stay on top of everything that's going on with the game because in the gaming community, it just changes so dramatically, and it, you really have to invest hours upon hours to be really good. But I would love to, from a, um, I would love from a, 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 a from an investment level and just a kind of like production level to see what's up with the gaming community, without a doubt. Okay, so this is going to be perfect. So now my next question, uh, going back to our kind of people, uh, I'd like to ask every actor this because I know I got a couple more uh, minutes before we wrap up. But um, I'd like to ask everybody this. Period. What was a moment in your life, Morris, when you felt like you was at your lowest? And things couldn't get any worse, but you managed to find strength in that moment that allowed you to be successful today. Hmm. Hmm. That's a that's a good question. Um, I will say this. Uh, first of all, there are a lot of low moments in 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 my life. I mean, I have a lot of high moments, but I have a lot of low moments because that's what that's what being a human being is. And no one is completely high all of the time. Um, without getting into specifics, but there was a moment even before I started acting to where um, it was a low moment in my life, and I just knew that it just it just fueled me to 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 want to get better and and, and want to be better and just want to accomplish a number of things. So I, I have those moments. Amazing. So now, when we talk about the title of our kind of people, uh, the the co stars that you work with on this particular show. How have they bettered your skill set just being on set, working with them, working with Lee Daniels, like just work with everybody, period. How has even now, as great as you are, how are you getting better just being a part of this show? And on top of that, when you when you talk about our kind of people, what is your kind of people? So um, it's interesting. The, the um, I've always I'm never I, I don't I'll be the first to say I don't know everything. And I learned, I learned some, I think I learned something. I like to say I learned something. If not, I can't say every day, but I'm always constantly learning. Um, and even working with the people that I'm working on set now, we have some younger people who are, they're not newer to the industry, but you know, they're some, they're fairly new to, you know, to, to TV shows. Um, I learned from them. I just learned from watching people, from talking to people. And that's part of being an actor because as an actor, we, you know, we draw from our own experiences. And so the, the more experience you have through life, 
the stronger you become or you should become as an actor because you have more things to draw from. So, um, so and what was the second part of your question? Yeah, so the second part of the question was the, the term our kind of people. What's, what would be your kind of people that you feel lift you up and make you want to just be the best you can be? Like earlier, you say I could be your hype man. I would love to do that. You know what I'm saying? But like, <laughs> but like our kind of people, what would be your kind of people? Because I think people need to understand that there is a standard and a status to be able to elevate. The one, the one thing with me is I've, I've always... I've always really kind of focused on myself. I appreciate like you being my hype man. I appreciate that. I would love to go out and stay with you. You, you hype me up, but I've never looked for my kind of people to, to, um, to influence my life because, you know, unfortunately, and you can't blame people. Most people have their own interest in mind. And so there, there's, there could come a point to where you invest so much time and energy in someone and and then they have to make a decision that's best for them that may not be good for you so um so i don't really look for for those types of things in people um i take people at face value but if i had to say my kind of people just i just i just like to talk to and and, and chill with just good people people who have good intentions people who are positive i like to be around positive energy uh, amazing. I love it, man. So now another thing I want to talk about, and this is back on the esports uh, side of thing. There's a major team called Furia. They are based out in uh, Brazil, but they're the top three esports organization in the world globally. And we're about to do some major, major stuff. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So me personally, bro, I would love for you to give them a shout out. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm actually about to be a part of them. You know what I mean? And what we talking about, it can be an opportunity here to, 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 to you know, bring you in. So, like, on the count of three, bro, I just would love for you to give a shout-out to Furia. Like, you know how you say Fury? Well, it's called Furia. They're a big, big team, and they do a lot of good work. Like, they actually build houses for a lot of the homeless out in Brazil, and there's a lot of things that... So, yeah, it's not just about gaming. We right. really do community work, and I would love for you to give them a shout-out. So, yeah, on the count of three, yeah. just give a shout-out to Furia, uh, Furia Esports. One, two, three! What up, Furia Esports? It's your boy, Morris Chestnut. Keep doing you. Proud of you guys doing that community work. Love it, man. So now, when it comes to uh, uh, back to just the, some of the challenges that you face uh, in your career as a, you know, as an actor and stuff like that, one thing I would love to ask you personally, I have a program called Gaming and Guidance, and we utilize gaming to bring people together to create guidance to build their character and stuff like, like that. Like so... That. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So we do this. So what I want to ask you, Morris, is what's uh what was something that uh either somebody told you or some somebody uh, uh or you something that you seen and witnessed that made you realize that hey, you know what? If I utilize this in my life, I can not only make myself uh, better and impactful, but I can also impact others. What's one or two things that you've uh, encountered that help build your character? I would say, you know, um, there are some things that, that happened in my life, but to that, I would say that I think one of the most important things is that I've always tried to do my best and do the right thing in every situation. I mean, we're not, we're all flawed. Um, and I've always just really focused on making sure that I'm trying to learn and get better at life every single day. And that's the foundation. People have to realize that you yourself, you are the foundation of your life. It's not, it's not the cars, it's not the money, it's not the girl who's pretty. It's not that you are the foundation. Become centered and solid at that. And then realize that you really can't help other people until you really help yourself and get yourself on solid footing. Um, and, and those are the things that I kind of just try to take with me. I would say that. Oh, September 21st, the show come out. I'm hyped. Everybody, make sure y'all tune in to our kind of people. Morris Chestnut, the legend. Bro, I know we never met in person before. This is our first time talking, but I'm honored, humbled, love you, and I know you're going to bless us with your greatness when we see it September 21st once again. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Always. Y'all take care, man. It's the one and only hip-hop gamer, Logitech G, or you hot nine seven every day. That's my word. God bless y'all. We out of here. Peace. Yo.
Yo, this is how you bring a game in, son. Far Cry 6, man. Like the development team stepped their game up. Like, yo. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's how you bring in the game. So many dead. Okay. Gone. I should look for supplies and get the fuck out of here. You will be shot down immediately. All right, cool. Time to collect. Oh. Shit. Pistols empty. All right, cool. Wow. Need to find that gun. New photos. How the fuck is he still working? Wow. The markings must be the colita was talking about. Oh, got you. So we gotta go up to. Okay. This is dope. Markings. Yep. Boom. What? Wow. Oh, Queen LA. Wow, puppet master and stuff. This is crazy, man. So you gotta, uh, you gotta appreciate the scenery and the ambiance of the game, so you can even know more of the story. What oh, is it? Well, I can't get that. All right, cool. Oh shoot! Who's shooting? Better stay quiet. Sneak up on a soldier. Yes, yes. Machete kill. Go on. Think of it, a patrol. All rotten on the inside. How did I know you were scavenging for libertad? Let's go. Oh! Now, and, I, and I took the ammo. This you? is you fire. To That's how you do melee in a game. By the birds and the crabs. You're just meat to them. Wow. Oh, wow. And you get the ammo, and the I love that. Now, yo, one thing I want to tell y'all what just took place. Now, when you're playing a lot of games and you got to sneak up on somebody, sometimes they make you get where well, you got to get so close just to get it. In this game, they give you a little distance um, before you before the prompt, uh, weapon prompt pumps, uh, prompts up. So you can actually activate the melee kill. That's smart because if you're too close, it's kind of like I know somebody's behind me. So that right there is a bit more realistic. But also when you kill them and you automatically get the ammo, and you automatically get the stuff. It helps with the pacing of the game. You know what I'm saying? Instead of a lot of filler stuff where you got to do a whole bunch of extra steps. It just makes everything more seamless and you just get to the next point. I love it. Let's go. Let's go. And I love that the, they got like a lot of different um animations. What's this? Could be useful. Oh, I got some leg gear. All right, so now I got some leg gear. Let's come over here. Boom, boom. Hold up. Oh, okay, I can change them. So this is what I got here. All right, cool. I'm trying to see if it tells you like, why is it better and stuff like that. Oh, this has a side arm pocket. That's, okay, got it, got it. All right. I'm loving this game so far, y'all. Loving it. Change your gear in the arsenal menu. All right, cool. It says to learn more. All right, well, I change your gear. Okay, got it. To Liberta, steal a boat, sell the fuck out of Yara. Easy. And now I'm talking to myself. Perfecto. Hold up. Hold up. Ah! Oh, shoot. Oh, fuck. Yo, that scared me for a second. Yo, I ain't gonna fright. I heard it. Because, like, my headphones is crazy. I heard it. But, um, you know, see, I love that. I can just, I don't gotta. Yo, I love this. I can just walk over it and get it. I don't gotta like go through a whole animation to pick something up. I can just walk over it and get it. I love that. I go for that scared me for a second. 
Bad time to be a guerrilla. Wow. Been a while since I used one of these. Wow, grappling kit. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Classic Far Cry, baby. Those one visitors. Classic Far Cry. Let's go. I'm gonna show your face before you shoot me. Oh, wow. I'm Danny, a friend of Lita. Silencio. Wow. You are the only survivor? Oh, wow. Clara Garcia. I love that. The Answer me. The, the way they introduce the characters. I said. I love it. Are you the only survivor? See, si. Lucky. Lita knew the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay. A few days. Libertas no charity, hermano. Lita said you would help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda. Oh, oh, shoot. Gangster. This is crazy. You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny? Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards? I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. A Yara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple? Castillos got what? 300,000 troops? I count six burnt out guerrillas and you with a bullet to the leg. Mm. You don't believe me? I'll show you. Wow. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Mm. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats. We don't have much gear. Oh, wow. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. But we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. And all this is legit? This map is old as hell. Made for turistas, yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. You'll get used to it. Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. Hmm. Juan Cortez. Alright, that's what we, that's our next uh next mission to find Juan. It's crazy. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? You tell Lita that. I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees. But it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in, and let me know when you want to pay your rent. Oh, got a new rifle. All right, wait, hold up. Let me do that. Come here, all right, cool. All right. Okay. Let 
map is now available. Open it. Cool. Rank one. All right, bet. Danny. New fast travel location available. We'll talk. I attacked this archipelago with a man named Juan Cortes. He helped me build Libertad from the dirt. Juan's a spy master from the pre-Castillo days. Can build an ICBM from a goddamn ice cube tray. Pulled off ops for Espinosa, the KGB, then flipped to the CIA and Mossad for fun. Juan is my mentor. He's also unstable and an alcoholic. When shit went south, he was so embarrassed he walked straight out of my camp. Castillo soldados would love nothing more than to capture a double agent like Cortez. I need him back with neighbor Tad, Danny. He's done with us, but you're a fresh face. Take this earpiece. Juan made them for comms, then head to the village. If I were you, I would check the bar first. I bet. Accepting track. Get down to that village and bring me Cortez. I hope for your sake he's sober. Alright. Here I say he's probably drinking at a bar in the morning. Alright, cool. <coughs> Journal is now available, allows you to track your next move. Bet I love this. So now one thing I love like I love about any game, you know you got you got main missions and you got side missions. Now, some games, their side missions don't really uh add value to the main mission or what's going on in the world. It's like literally just filler for you to get some points so you can have some skill points to spend, like you know what I mean, to upgrade. Now, me. I really like getting through the main story first because I'd be locked in. So I want to get to the main story. Now, what's crazy about this is right now, as you see in the journal, this is the only thing that I have to do. Like you got other operations, you got these treasure hunts and all this other stuff. But this is the main thing I have to do. And that's all you see. So it helps you stay focused on what you want to do. However, you want to play the game. Love that. I'm saying so. Danny, how's the earpiece? Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. This spy shit works, Clara. I'll give you that. Bien. Keep your gun holstered if you want to stay out of trouble, especially in areas with a lot of soldados. See, si, I got it. A smart guerrilla picks their battles. Suerte. So just to let y'all know, we obviously playing this via remote, you know, remote play. But um, it feels great so far. But I just love the scope. I love the scope of the actual scenery and everything. So, um, yo, just take it all in, man. This is looking incredible. Uh, holster your weapon. I right, cool. Holster your weapon to keep a low profile. Put the too closely, but still just suspicion. Quickly unholster. Uh, got you. And you hold the weapon wheel. Got it. All right. Holster. You can quickly unholster. Okay, got it. I'm loving this game. I'm loving this game. I'm loving the level design so far. Um, Look at this, man. It's dope. Yeah, I wish I had a car. But okay. I'm not going over here. That's going to be dangerous. So let's go find one. Oh, no. Wow, the lighting and everything is crazy. Look at how the game like literally just changed. Oh. We're looking for a man. I don't know the name. You voila. Papers. I don't have them on me, senora. No papers. That's a serious offense. Alright, so I'm inside the search zone. 
There you go. That looks like a one. <laughs> that looks like a one. <laughs> Let's go. Today we drink in the worst fucking cantina in Yara. Or is it Colombia? Kirat, Chechnya. Leave the bottle. Let's work for you. Another. Guapo, you listen. Rule 16. A guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez. Wow. Juan Cortez. Give it away, Guapo. Oh, wow. Look at the alligator, son. Guapo. What up, Guapo? She's in a fucking zoo, abuelo. Clara sent me to find you. See, I learned long ago never to doubt her. You will too. Hey, I know you. Don't think so. Yeah, I know you. It's like I'm looking at a mirror, Guapo. What are you talking about? Those eyes, guerrilla. You got a taste. You convince yourself you're a hero, but you wake up a junkie, just like Juan Cortez. This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can whistle. Oh, oh shoot! Oh, shoot! Yo! You fuck. Yo! You're worth more dead anyway. The fuck? Oh my god, yo, what is going on Wapo, in this game? Done with you? Wow. And I ruined the only copy of my book. This is real. Bueno, mis socios, vámonos. This is Once real. again, we have outstayed our welcome. Yo, this game is phenomenal. Period. Like, when I tell y'all, like, this game is crazy, like, this game is seriously, like, next level. So, I encourage y'all, like, Far Cry 6, I'm, all, I'm only, like, maybe 20 minutes in. This joint, unbelievable so far right now. Let's go. Put that down. Drop your weapons! I am in this world anyway! Hold up. Oh, nice. That's high. Go. Oh, they got the car coming. Hold up. Yo, if it feels this good, oh shoot, if it feels this good to be remote play, I can only imagine what it's gonna be like. Yo, this game, yo, I, I just wanna show love to the developers, man. I'm drunk, but I'm not that drunk. Right behind you, old man. Yo, the developers went in on this Far Cry, son. Wapo wants to be your friend. Or maybe he just needs to take a dump. Only one way to find out. Come on. What? Yo, Guapo's on our, is on our side? Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. Complete challenges with your amigos to unlock their unique abilities. Hold on, let's see what this is about. Oh, Guapo's a friend of ours. Yo, shout out to Guapo, man. You know what I'm saying? And what's so funny is, like, in the hood, when we talk about getting that guap, that means money. You know what I'm saying? So Guapo, he's a friend and like he's money because he's on time. You know what I'm saying? He, he's, he's on point when it comes to what we need. We outside with it, baby. Yeah, give me a second. Oh, man. This is crazy. One second, y'all. One second. He 
know, like the work never stops. So I'm always working. All right, cool. Now let's go. Stop now, fucking around. We got business. Oh, I could direct them and I could call them what? back. That's fire. I can tell you handled a gun before. That's fire. What's your name? Danny. So Clara says you're a legend. Ex KGB, ex CIA. <laughs> I got more fucking exes than your porn search history. Some wow, that's crazy. Break eggs for breakfast. But one for this, he breaks fucking gun. Hold up. New plan, Danny. Vamos. The plan is to go back to Clara's camp. Where the hell are we going now? <clears throat> oh, shit. See that smoke? That means the watchtower just got a supply drop with some of the rarest materials you'll find in Yara. Yeah. And you are going to go get it. Now you want me to steal shit for you? Gunpowder and Supremo Bond. The Cerveza and Chaser of Resolver. I'm gonna teach you to make shit for weapons. Because making shit for weapons is cool. And it's rule number nine. Always <laughs> use the right tool for the right job. You coming with me? Fuck no. <laughs> you got Huapo. You can tear shit up with him. But if you want to be sneaky, leave him behind. That cutie loves to make a mess. Oh, objective complete. At least you're here to help Guapo. I could go in loud with Guapo or stay silent and use my machete. Yo, we going loud, baby. Uh, aim at the enemy. Yeah, we going what in loud. Not the military will shoot me on sight here. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh shoot. Got him. Got him. Oh, let's go. I got your back, Wapo. I got your back, Wapo. This game is fire, son. Guess this could be useful. All right, so, oh, we still inside the search zone. And I love how you just walk over their body and you get what you need. I love it. This is fire. What the hell are you going to do with this one? Gunpowder. Then the Greeks, then the Romans, the Franks, the English, the Yankees. And now, it is our time. It is time for Yara to enter his golden age. But there is one way. Right. This is more like it. Green bomb. dreams before they take flight. That word is... Oh, I got a new rifle? Hold up. Wait, hold on. Got a new rifle, bro. Let's see what's popping. Boom. Oh, it does more damage. All right, cool. Oh, I got two of them at one. Oh, okay. They are thieves whose goal is simple to steal your future. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see. Uh, standard rounds, full auto, single shot. You can do burst, single shot, boom. But this one is standard. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna leave it like that. I love this game, y'all. Like more shit for one. See, that's my thing. Any game I play, as long as this shit one. Wait, hold up. Good work, Danny. Now hurry up already. We need to get back to Clara's camp. That's what I've been saying. That's my thing. Any game that I play, as long as it's fun, we lit. That's my biggest thing, as long as it's fun, yo. Uh, give me a second, y'all. As long as it's fun, like, we, 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 we lit for life with it. That's my whole thing. As long as it's fun, we are good to go. One second. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm always working. Uh, let's see here. Let's 
Boom. There we go. Oh, he's already here. Oh, okay, cool bet. All right, cool. My bad. Um. Oh. All right, cool. I got him locked in. All right. Okay, we got more than enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right. So what's with all of this junk? You building something? Patience, Danny. Rule number eight. A guerrilla knows how to wait. Like a spider or a serial killer. So, how did you get to this godforsaken hellhole? I was on a refugee ship. We didn't get far. Yeah, yeah. And I came here on a chopper in our baby invasion of Santuario. Shot straight out of the goddamn sky. No, I mean, what's your story? The orphanage in Esperanza. Then the military. I'm no guerrilla. Just helping Clara out until she gets me off this island. Rule 20. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. And so far, the performance is great in this game so far. Like, it's really like, in terms of just the way the game runs and handles, great America so far. is my option. <laughs> You think Americans want your yarn blood? The American dream is for Americans, Danny. Uh, you don't quit, do you? Nope. Wapo hates quitters. Go. If you two are so close, why is he following me? Wapo goes with those who need him most. Like those therapy dogs in your precious America. You can trust Wapo with your life. Yeah. Not sure I'm there yet. You got that. You said your chopper was shot down in the invasion. Can you fix it? So I can fly you to the Yankees? No, that's... It's grounded. But I'm working on it. Patience, Danny. Now it's time for Juan Cortez to show you how to make something out of nothing. Did I ever tell you rule number nine? You just did. Always use the right tool for the right job. Words to live by. Okay. Wow, let's go. How many others? Wow, look the at her face. Returns. The legend needs to piss, Hefa. Who's she? She was a journalist who dared call Anton Fascista. Now she's an outcast, a slave for his paradise. And she's not the only one, Danny. Rule number 11. Mm, I like this whole rule book situation. Resolver, let's go. The time you learn about Resolver, Danny. When I was six, I rigged my first bike with the chainsaw motor. The blockade means I have to Resolver every day, Juan. Nah, that's survival. For a guerrilla, Resolver isn't just making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you've got. Keep talking. A guerrilla's best weapon is the workbench. Aye. Go ahead, Dan. Let's take a crack at those Let's weapons. Primary. No offense, but your battle rifle is a little basic. Let's fix that. Rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. In this case, sometimes I lie awake at night asking myself, Juan, how can you kill people faster? The answer is excellent, Danny. Now you can let's pop go. enemy flesh like a ripe watermelon. Okay? Wow. Let's look at your other rifle. Let's say your target remembers. These rounds fly straight and true. Nice. Now you got your own supply of high velocity war crimes. Let's look at your attachments. Time to make your very first suppressor. Um, this will okay. turn a bang into see how easy that was. Now you can silently headshot your enemies like a real asshole. The workbench is your friend, Danny. 
A friend with benefits. I mean, get cozy with him. That's damn. Do you Making find shit is addictive. With All that right. workbench, Second. you can build a new yada. Operation complete. All right, give me a second, y'all. Always working. <clears throat> All right. Almost done. Almost done. Uh, let's see. Boom. Okay. Boom, boom. All right. Hold up. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Okay. Resolver. Open it. Steal materials. Blah, blah, blah. High animals to trade meat. Got it. You ready? Today, teacher sending you on a field trip. All right. Danny, I've got big plans for you. But first, I need you to get a thing for me. Now, I hear you ask, one, what is this thing you need? All you need to know is don't try to eat it, talk to it, or put it in your pants. But one, I hear you ask, where is this thing you need? Head for the radio tower and follow the trail north. It'll take you to an abandoned camp on the east side of the island. I can mark it on your map. You'll meet my contact there. She'll hook you up. And Danny, you pull this off, I'm gonna give you something for pulling me from the bottle. A little gift an old friend gave me for saving his life. Not that you saved my life, just... I get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, one thing I love about this game is the personality like everybody has a personality and that's how you build like a relationship you know with the characters in the game that's why we love Voss so much from far cry 3 like these things is important and now i think people are gonna really love danny you know what i'm saying like this is gonna be dope so we got one smoking a cigar on sunday i bet you don't know. What? Hold up. I need to get to Radio Tower oh, yeah. Tower Wall Mansion. Alright. There's no car or nothing? Like, I really gotta walk all the way over there? There's no vehicle right now? I'm probably gonna find a vehicle along the way. With Guapo, well, you know good, but well, you know good and well Guapo can't um zip line. Right, okay, this car messed up. Oh, hold up. Oh man. Hey, right, I gotta find somebody. I I gotta rob somebody. Wait, I gotta. I need a car. Oh, they go guap. Little tip. I think if you go behind you, there was a horse. But there's a car. I gotta take this. Lo siento. Tweet are good. Thank you, Steph. I bet. You're super welcome. All right, yo, guapo, get in the back. Okay, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, bring this vehicle to a vehicle pickup point. You will then be able to call it from any vehicle pickup point. Oh, word? Okay. Let's go to the vehicle pickup point. Um, all right. Well, maybe we'll find one more. Let's go, Lamia.
go. Oh yeah, that's right. You got a horse over there. Oh wait, hold up. I forgot. I I, I need to see if uh Far Cry 6 has the same joint. Uh, where the waypoint shows up. There we go. Now, in the last uh, Far Cry, they had the arrow on the ground. Stuff like that, so. But, as long as it's easy to see on the map, then we should be good. Loving the game so far. Oh, get Oh! Why would you run out there like that? That ain't my fault. Checkpoints lock down the movement of people across Yara and will shred your tires with goddamn road spikes. Well, unless you got a horse. See, I've been through enough of them in Esperanza. Clear the checkpoints, destroy the billboards, then watch Libertad rise from the ashes. Alright, checkpoints. Oh, that's crazy. They got those on the checkpoints, so your tires is done. That's crazy. Alright, so we gotta take out all of these people. Get it. I got an idea. Matalos. Lower that weapon. Go, Guapo. Yeah. Woo! Got the lieutenant. Hold up. Can I get up in here? Stairs are heavily guarded. Table alarm. Yes. I can't stand those. Um, you should. Even when the holster, so even when you need holster, they're gonna shoot on sight. Got it. I can't stand those alarms and they be bringing mad other people and stuff. That joint get on my nerves. Okay, hold up. Yeah, I gotta get up there. Uh. So I guess if I disable the alarm, it gets, gets rid of the Oh, I'm stupid, yo. I thought that if I got rid of the alarm, it would like break it down or something like that. Oh man. I messed up, y'all. My bad. Game is crazy, y'all. Love it. Okay. Oh, sniper rifle. Got a sniper rifle. Hold on. Yo, I like that. They got a, like a lot of um, a lot of joints, like a lot of slots. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this. This is crazy. So I got everything in here. Need this. We will not stand for terrorism. Bye. Okay. Dang. All right. Wow. They even took the tires off. Okay. Oh, can I stop that horse? Okay. Wow. Let me just follow the tracks. Oh, there's some horses right there. Let's go. Oh shit. I haven't ridden a horse since basic training. Oh, that's hot. How they like talk about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I love, see, this is what makes the game come like a lot a lot more well now 
loving this game, man. And I love games that's easy to play. I found like, the tower to play. Don't stop now, Danny. Find the guerrilla path and follow it to my contact. See, I'm on my way. All right, let's use the grapple. Yes. Yo, you can just use the grapple, yo. Let's get it. All right, cool. All right. Uh. All right, we're gonna use that grapple again. Oh, you can run and jump. Okay, hold up. All right, let's go. Juan described you pretty well. My name is Make Raisa, and I'm going to be helping you steal shit from Castillo today. Are you going to tell me what I'm stealing? Depleted uranium. <laughs> Pardon. I thought you just said uranium. You heard me. Look, all I know is I burned my last contact in the army tracking it down for Juan. You ex-military? Isn't everybody? Okay. You show me where it is. First, you take this parachute. Trust me, it can save your life. Now I'll take you to the old Spanish fort. They've got it locked up inside. Conscript or volunteer? Conscript. My number came up, so I did my time. You? Volunteer. All I wanted to be was a soldier. You know, wear the uniform, serve my country. Found out the only kind of soldier Castillo wants is a blind fascist addicted to his every word. So now you're a traitor. Yeah, and I'm not the only one. There's a guard posted at the watchtower ahead. He's going to let us use it to scout out the fort. Oh, he can wow. also give us useful info. What does he want from us? One, not to get his ass shot. <laughs> so keep your gun holstered or he'll open fire. Two, a little bribe to these double agents will get us military intel. Right. No weapons. Pesos ready. Let's go. Some soldiers are FND double agents. Wow. And um, have valuable intel. Host of your weapon before approaching them. Bribe. Pesos. Location will be revealed on the map. This is fire! I love these yeah, mechanics. Hope you got some pesos on you. Oh, wow. What's up? Okay, check this out. Here's where you can find some weapons around here. Thank you. That's sure. fire. Whatever you and Raisa are about to do, I don't want to be around for it. Everyone's got their price. Mm, this not every is soldier crazy. is a fanatic. Some are just trying to feed their families. Just remember to put the guns away before you approach them. All right, hold up. Use your phone to scout out enemy soldiers and see their weaknesses. Oh, wow. I bet Juan's already giving you his right tool for the right job talk. Uh, so scouting, use your phone. Yo, that's fine. Use your phone now instead of binoculars and stuff. Okay, soldiers will reveal their weaknesses. Use the workbench to build a soldier for ammo for weapons. Got it. Pick out your phone. Where's the officer in charge? Alvarez has the key to the armory. Careful, Danny. He's higher rank. 
in Castillo's army. That means he's better trained, quicker with the trigger, and a tough motherfucker. Got you. So he's weak against armor piercing rounds. Got it. Got it. Advanced military. Got it. This fort is the most protected base on the island. These soldiers have been issued with body armor and helmets. Nothing armor piercing rounds can't handle. Use the workbench if you need to craft some, and then go snatch that uranium, Danny. That parachute I gave you could come in handy here. Just don't drop into the middle of the fort, okay? This game is crazy. I love how they set it up. All right, so primary. Got you, primary two. Primary three, which is the sniper rifle. Maybe there's something else I can do. Not enough materials. Wait, what is this though? Customize your look, okay. Equip charms to maximize gorilla flare, got it. Um, trade materials. Trade for yarn pesos. Oh, so if I trade all this stuff. Boom. I'm making money. Got it. Okay. Okay. Like some metal. Some parts. Keep track of your gather animal parts. Okay. Look, I right, so the parachute. Wait, the parachute. Hold on. Uh. Oh, dang! Dang, man. I might as well just bleed out. Hey, I messed that up big time. Okay. If I could do something sneaky down here. Better watch my step. Dang, I thought I'd be able to do something, but okay. Okay. Yeah, hey, Guapo. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. Okay, now I see what's going on. Now I see what's going on. I get it. I get it. We got to go in here, right? Okay. All right. Boom. Boom. All right, let me see if I can get into there. All right, okay. All right, okay, I have an idea. I do got a sniper rifle. Wait, it don't zoom any more further than that? Really? If you peep out your workbench, you might be able to customize it. Alright, bet. Demo socket, muzzle socket. Yeah, I need, yeah, I need a better. No mod install, improved, currently applied. I right, don't got no other one. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you. Just don't got enough right now. Took away that little bit of power. on when the music start kicking. Alright, good. He's out the way. This is crazy infiltrating this right now. Oh, got some more pesos.
Watch out! They've called back their patrols! Yeah? You mean this wasn't everybody? Let's go! Does it ever stop? Like, oh my god. Go, baby. <clears throat> Let's go. Be outside with it. Let's go. Go your fucking uranium, Juan. Time, the better one. What? Okay, Bob down again. Yo, this is serious right now. Let's go. We out, baby. Back at Sierra's camp. Alright, hold up. Alright, we gotta get back here.
go. Danny, you got the uranium? See, si. still want to know what he's going to do with it. If I know Juan, you're about to get a fucked up surprise. See you back at camp. Yo, were they chasing me or something? What's going on? Yo, we out. Game is sick, y'all. Oh, shoot. Why aren't we just killing him? He's connected. No All right. Alright. Let's go. Game is crazy. Oh, we did it, baby. Oye, Juan. <laughs> this is Resolver, Danny. Depleted uranium. Soviets left these sexy byproducts of nuclear enrichment behind in the 80s. Yankees use it for tank armor and bullets. <laughs> Crazy assholes. Sounds dangerous. You'll be a fucking superhero, Danny. Lita and I used to sneak these into the orphanage. Essential reading while waiting to fuck up convoys in the mud. A guerrilla must be a sponge for inspiration. Okay, but well, what the hell is this? This is a Supremo. Wow, look at that, yo. That's the Supremo, baby. Let's get that Supremo. It looks like a rocket launcher. See, she does that too. One more thing. I want you to meet Tostador. The two go together like fire and fury. I like how you reserve Earth one. So do I. Vive Libertad. Alright, so we got the revolver and toast the door. Hold up. I already know what time it is. Oh, the toast the door, sir. Look at this joint. This joint looks fire. Alright, cool. Dead. Sandwich. Are you just hungry, Juan? Yes. Hold up. Uh, okay, we'll be able to get here. Weapons. Okay. No mods. But I'm okay. talking about layers, Danny. Head to the workbench and I'll show you. Oh, okay. Supremos aren't just simple tools of destruction. Let's take a look at that Supremo. The special ingredient that makes this all happen. Pick a gadget, Danny. This is a safe space. There's no wrong answer here. Excellent. Now go talk to Clara. Time to give that Supremo a workout. <sighs> Got nothing to say to you. Operation complete, baby. Now go talk to Clara. Time to put that Supremo to use, guerrilla. I open it. What else the gadget? Throw uh alright cool. That crock looks mean as hell. 
You really think we get through that blockade? A lot of us. Yeah, but do you? What do I look like? A fucking three out of three? We need to talk. All right, let's go. I don't need to tell you that Viviro is the lifeblood of Castillo's regime. He's built work camps to produce it all over Yara. These plantations use outcasts as slaves to grow the tobacco plants they turn into Viviro. Mm. These are our people, Danny. Beaten, tortured, sprayed by poison chemicals. There's a camp on this island. We tried to destroy it when we invaded. We failed. Now, we're going to finish the job. Julio is waiting for you at a nearby barn. Alright, let's get it. Hit that slave camp hard. Suerte. Hola, guerrilla. Time for a test drive of that Supremo. Now, if things get too heavy with the soldados, just pull the trigger. But one tiny, tiny thing you should know. Uh-huh. The Supremos are in an experimental phase. They need time to breathe after you use them. You know, so they don't overload and kill you. Could have told me before I strap one to my back. Just let that Supremo feed off the blood of your enemies. What? <laughs> You'll get it, Danny. <laughs> You'll get it. No problem, guys. Is built by Easy. one that offer unique abilities. going to bullshit you. I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead I get you. And I'm supposed to be a Miami. But instead my two best friends are dead and I'm stuck here with you. So, mm. truce? Enough talk. Step one, we hit the tobacco. Step two, we destroy their poison supply. Step three, we get the fuck out of there and Castillo gets a nice pretty message from Libertad. Got it. Oh. Take this gear. It'll protect you from fire. And more importantly, Castillo's fucking poison. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, so I got the new gear. Oh, when on fire, the flames are automatically put out. That's crazy. Greatly improves general defense when spr sprinting. All right, all right. That's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, what, what did it say, yo, about the mask? Uh, protection from your eyes and poison. Got it. Using the right protective gear in the right situation will keep you alive. Yeah, the right tool for the right job. Been hearing that a lot lately. This game is sick. Listen I just love how they bring you into Lita was everything. Like a sister to me. She shouldn't have been on that fucking boat. She died because of you. Yes. No. Anton Castillo killed Lita. If I could change anything, it would be me dying on that beach. Lita was a better person than I could ever be. And if she loved you, well, that just says a lot about who you are. Enough. Look. If you and I are going to do this, you need to know about the poison. You mean that shit they spray on the leaves? Its real name is PG-240, but we call it the poison because it fucked up your system. Try not to breathe it or get it on your skin. It can make you go fucking crazy or sick, like deep down sick. And if that doesn't get you, the cancer that grows inside you will. Gonya. So you're a military. Marksman? Close us off? What's your thing? I'm good with guns. We get along. We'll start thinking. That gear I gave you is good for fire and poison. 
but Gary has new gear that fits their style, no matter the situation, or they get themselves killed. This is a good place to scout him. Right behind you. Let's see what we're up against. Up here, Dali. Oh, I'm going there. Let me see if there's anything else I can like add to my repertoire. Like, uh, snipe a rifle. Let's see if I can get something. Nope. Okay. See the Viviro tobacco and the yellow poison tanks? Oh, uh, yeah. See? Punch holes in the tanks to let the poison out into the air. Fun fact. Poison and fire make a hell of a mix. Big boom. Same idea with the fumigators. They're hard to kill, but they can't take the heat. You've got a flamethrower. You've got that Supremo. Time to fuck up all this Viviro bullshit. You know, Lita and I had a ritual. Psych us up before battle. Hit me. El movimiento. De libertad. Uh. Oh, Bella Chow, Bella Chow, Bella Chow, Chow, Chow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I need that. For Lita. Oh, okay. For Lita. Let's make some chaos, Danny. Uh, he's weak against all target rounds. Okay. I can destroy the yellow uh I can burn the red tobacco plants from my toast. Point six and explosives. How they got the music playing right now. Hold up. Ah. 
I could swear I hear music. I need more gasoline. Yo, I love the music. Oh, hold up. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot, hold on. This is crazy. Oh, wow.
already. Gracias, Danny. Meet you back at camp. Alright, let's go. Mission complete, baby. <laughs> Alright, so now, let's see if we can, uh... That should have one of the combat. Let's go back to Arsenal. Okay. Let's go to the journal. All right, so everything that I got is right here. This is the next joint I got to do. But before I do this, wait. Oye, Clara, I hope you can see the smoke from where you are. You struck a blow against Castillo today. I hope Julio wasn't too rough on you. He's hurting, but okay. I think Lita would be smiling right now. Danny, there's someone I want you to meet. His name is Benito. He's a local fisherman, which means boats for Libertad. He lives on the east side of Casas Cove. Always got time to make new friends. You're building bridges for me, Danny. It's your gift. We need Benito. Talk to him. All right, so I'm out of the clear. So when I go to my journal, so these are the two things. So now this is rank number four. This is obviously rank number one. So we're going to start with this one first. And um, since we're going to start with that first, uh, let me fast travel here. I could get ammo, you know what I'm saying? Get ammo, get right, get lit, and then head back out. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, got a jersey. Okay. Let's see, let's see what that does. Improved soft target blast and armor piercing defense. Yo. Wait, hold on. Wait, what else is said? Okay. See if there's any other mods I can attach. In fact, uh, hold up. I'm gonna change this, change the weapon. Okay, with the sniper rifle. Oh, I gotta go to work bench, that's why. I was wondering why it wasn't working. Uh, nope, primary three. All right. One mod is uh, Oh man, I still can't update that. Sign on. Is there like a uh I need more ammo like all right we'll see all right this is what we tracking right here all right I gotta get the car because Right, there's a horse. Ah, see, you're okay. Oh, they're really trying to get at me right now. Oh, shoot. 
keep shooting me. Oh. Don't run. Yeah, you thought you had the joint, right? Yo, that's fire. That's fire. He went to the alarm, not realizing that I cut the alarm off. That's fire. Over here. That's fire. All right, so I gotta destroy the billboard. Wow. Wow. This is crazy. Oh, that's hot. I love it. I love it. Juan, the checkpoint is clear. Didn't that feel good? You've earned some guerrilla karma today. Keep it up, Danny. Nice. Move it here, my friend. Okay, oh, shit. All right, so now that I got that done, let's go back to the journal. Now, what rank am I? I don't see the rank. It'll tell you your rank under arsenal when you look at your person. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm still rank one. Okay, bet. So we're not doing this level. <laughs> Let's go find something else to do. Got to rank up. Oh, say yeah, look. Okay. Let me talk to this person. You got something for me? You want to hit the military where it hurts? There's an anti-aircraft site on Santuario. Blow it up. Thanks. All right, cool. All right. Bro. I need a car, though, man. I'm tired. Yeah. Be nice, horse. Yeah! That's so crazy how they hum and sing and stuff like that, like... Is that a problem? Just be careful. The soldiers there are better equipped and better trained. Find some high ground and scout out the enemy. Got it, Clara. No surprises. A guerrilla only gets surprised once, Danny. Suerte. So I just want to give you a little tip before you go on this mission. Okay. Um, instead of like old uh, Far Cries where you throw rocks, you're actually going to have baseballs. And that's going to be located in your D-pad. Oh, got you. Wait. 
So where your ammo is in your guns, like where you look at that with the left bumper, then it. it's right in your D-pad. Yep. Got it. Oh. Show yourself. Okay. Oh, it's about to be real. Ooh. Gotta show love to Guap. We're looking out, Guap. Yes, ammo refilled. Yes. Yes. Depleted uranium. Okay. Uh, let's see, what was the main purpose of this mission, mission though? Okay, I guess I completed it. So now, let's go back to, uh, 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 blow, blow up the um, blow up the cannon to free this guy's. Oh, I got blow up the cannon. Yeah, I knew there was something. Airspace clear, baby. And I should be at rank number two. Let's go. New weapons and gear available at Juan's Arms Dealer. I bet. Overcoming the regime. Overcoming the regime. To be good to do so. Capture military targets. Destroy the military supplies. See the operations. Got it. He's going up there. I'll come over here. Come on, 
We'll ride out. Cash, workbench, find cash, the fast travel over here. Got it. So fast travel over here. Thing. Workbench. Oh, let's go to trade materials. Uh, use the build and upgrade camp facilities at the. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Still can't mod. On that. Still can't do nothing. Yet. Uh, gadget mods. To care the military target. Uh, okay, I guess I'm going to. I'm going over here. To die for our cause. Let's go. See? All right, let's go. Let me guess. Clara Garcia talked you into this. She even had us fishers hooked on her Libertad nonsense. Convinced us to help her little invasion of Santuario. Lost five of my best. Now Clara calls me begging for boats, more recruits. I'm a pirate first, Fisher second. Thank the blockade for that. We use our boats to pull fish from the sea, and we get people and contraband past the army. But El Presidente tightened his grip. The new Comandante, Rosario, 
has locked down all the fuel to keep it out of Libertad. Murders anyone who dares get near it. Clara wants us to help Libertad. Take back the refueling station. Kill Rosario. Help put food back on our tables. Let's get it. Spy. Danny, the only thing better than a guerrilla is a guerrilla with a nice ride. You want me to steal one? Been doing that since I was a kid. You're in the mix now. You need a car? Call for one. I'll have to bring it right to you. Nice. But you don't have any friends, Juan. Just I ever pull pull for a car. Alright, so I'm singing, so. Need some wheels. That is fire. This game is too sick. Keys are in the ignition. Don't wreck this one, okay? I appreciate it. All right, now let's see what's going on here. I'm over here. So these two is close together, so I'll go here first. Then I'll go here last. All right, let's do this. What? This is a nice car. That's not a car, Danny. That is a 1956 Beaumont Valentina. She's a work of art. Nice. Just like me. Except I don't have a ram welded to my chassis to fuck up anyone who gets in your way. You're definitely one of a kind. Now go get those fascists, Tiger! Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That was crazy. Come on. It's almost a wrap. I need to secure gasoline for Benito and his fishes. Fuel depot. You train that thing? Damn. Danny, I hear you're taking care of a little problem for Benito. Yeah. Go to pay his friend Rosario a little visit. Just be careful. She's not gonna be alone. Do some scouting before you pull the trigger. Remember, rule number nine. Right tool for the right job. Rule number ten. Shut the fuck up. Ah! Uh. adult and can make your own decisions. Spread your wings and fly, little bird. I 
think my Supremo can kill that tank. Or maybe I can steal it. Get the wall. Crazy. That was crazy, y'all. Bad. I'm about to say that. Let me see if I can get in the tank. Let me try this tank. If I get in the tank, that'd be dope. Uh. Rosario's not here. She has to be at the other side. Be Rosario. Hmm. Camera. All my peace around. Okay. So where's that alarm at? Engineer. And alarm is right there. I need a silencer. That's what I need. Wow, look at the sun rising. That joint is dope.
Let's go. Let's go. No! No! That takes care of Rosario. Adios, asshole. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That was crazy. Good looking now, Guap. Guap came through in the clutch, baby. Game is fire, man. And, and like I said, like, you know, any game that's just fun to play and you're getting through the story, you're able to progress. It's like, it's kind of hard to put the controller down, you know what I'm saying? This one is amazing. I don't know if you noticed, but when you put Guapo next uh, time, look at his face. He's got a sweet gold tooth. Oh, for real? Oh, dope. Ooh, I got an auto piece Got an auto pistol, son. We lit. This is what, oh, look at that. Yo, that joint is sexy right there, son. That joint is what? Oh, man, you gotta, like, y'all gotta love video games. You can't not not love games, yo. This joint is incredible, man. Going to offense. Oh, mirror props. Nice. That's one thing I wish they had a uh wish you could see the review uh mirror stuff because like one thing that they didn't do. I agree there. Yeah, it's like you riding can't even see what's behind you because they didn't put the reflection. Let's go. Let's go. That, like, that should not be overlooked. It's 2021. But this is also the demo, so who knows what the future will hold. That is true. Oh. I can't get in this thing. That. So now we gotta go all the way over here. Let's go. This is such a great uh, camera view for driving. What? No, we out. Wow. You trespassing. Boom, back up. Let's go. 
Granito. You won't be seeing Rosario anymore. You saw the other unit, Danny. They were just turning things around. But the job's not done. Head to the fuel station and finish it. I was in the way. Bet this place has a stash room. Oh! I'm sorry, but... Using the way. Danny, where are you? Heading to the fuel people. Benito wants me to take it back from the army. It's an FND base now. Danny, the army has bases all over Yara. Come on, Freedom. We need to break their grip on the island. I'll do what I can, Clara. Clara. Careful now, don't pop your tires. Yep. Also means securing that gasoline. You got to do the smart, Danny. Find some high ground and use your phone to scout out cameras and alarms. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah! Go! He did it, baby! Woo! Game is crazy. Let's go! Alright, so we're ready. Guapo is down. Come on, Guapo. Come here, Guap. Wow, yeah, that's right. Look at that gold tooth, son. You lit. Okay, Benito. Rosario is dead. And the fuel got the is flowing going on. See, si, carajo. I admit, I got my doubts about Clara, but I never doubted you, compai. I know a thing or two about looking out for your own. Tell Clara I'm heading to her camp. She's got our boats and our support. Gracias, Danny. Alright, cool. So, I gotta see what's up with my man here. 
Like, I could buy something from him. Oh, that's the trade purchase. All right, let's see what I could get. Rifle. Oh, I don't got a shotgun yet. I might need to get a shotgun. Submachine gun, auto pistol. Yeah, I don't got a shotgun. Ooh, this light machine gun is great. I'm gonna get a shotgun now. Let's see what's up with some more gear. Improve, blah, blah. Automatically gather nearby items while in, while in a vehicle. Nice. You pay vehicles. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Let's go to my arsenal. Boom. Uh, sniper rifle. We'll grab the shotgun. Oh, and I got a fishing rod. Nice. Clara. Benito's back on your side. He's on his way to you right now. Shit, Danny, gracias. Now get your ass back to camp. It's time to get off this island. Just remember our deal. I've paid my rent and nine so. One of those boats has me sailing to Miami. I keep my word, Danny. How about we change history first? You? Yeah, you. All right, so before I return to camp, I want to get my level up. I'm only level two. We're gonna see what else we could do here. Uh, let's go to journal. And this is a rank number three mission. And I am still rank number two. What do you got? We found a sacred site dedicated to Triada. There's treasure in there, but it's guarded by spirits. I don't want any part of that shit. I wish you luck, compai. Appreciate it. See this, see all that spirit stuff like that be throwing me off. Like you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I didn't know that. So we, so to get that, right? Like I'm going straight to here. Hola. Oh wait, hold up. Let me get out and repair this joint. All right, there we go. Get it popping. Wait, hold up. Now where I gotta go? Oh, I gotta go over here. Ah, uh, we making it happen, y'all. Far Cry Six, man. I'm loving the game. Uh, graphics, gameplay, fun factor. Extremely great with the fun factor. Voice acting, sound, like everything. Like, this is dope. Rule 73. I feel this. It is won by the feared. Ooh. It's not won by the fearless. It's, it is won by the feared. I love the presentation, too, in the game. Uh, excuse me. You want us to take down Anton's ships? We're goddamn fishermen. Then leave us to die again, compai. What are you doing? Try it. It's fun. What's the plan, Heffa? For Anton to see us from the fucking capital? Yes. Well, it's working. You've got 20 minutes until Anton's forces come. So you better start running. Go! I said, run! Rules of the guerrilla, Juan Cortez. A revolution is not won by the fearless. Is won by the feared. What does Anton Castillo fear? Free elections, free expression, free outcasts. Ayara, free of Castillos. But he will fear nothing unless you are willing to die for your freedom today. Not when we have more believers or more guns today. Because today I'm going to put a hole through Castillo's warships. I am not fearless. I am scared as hell. But I promise you one thing. I will be feared. 
Viva Libertad. Viva wow. Libertad. This is crazy. I love Viva the way they libertad. set the stage, yo. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go home, Grias. Does she know what she's doing? Who cares, Danny? She knows what we need. See you from the sky, guerrilla. All right, let's go. Okay, so I gotta go over here. Okay, this is weird. Okay. Gotta go over there. Wait, so what's going on here? Is this something I've seen? That crop is <laughs> Danny, you copy? Oh, okay. Get that chopper up and running. See, si, but there's an anti aircraft cannon blocking the airspace around Castillo's warships. Keep up, old man. Already took it out. Careful, Danny. You're starting to sound like a real fucking guerrilla. Okay, there we go. Oh, it should be a good lookout that's got the lock gate. I bet. For a second, I was like, what's going on? I need that. Oh, come on, are you serious, man? I don't want that. Oh my gosh. I bet there's a horse out here just chilling. Oh, come on, serious? I wanted to tell you something. I love a speech you gave. Listen to me. Whatever happens now, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for Libertad and for me. Fight me once we've blasted through Castillo's blockade. See you on the other side, Danny. Don't do this! I need a break. My bladder's going to explode. Oh, yeah! Help me! Oh, shoot! Gracias. That was crazy. Yeah, that's how you liberate somebody. That was crazy. All right, I need this horse, bro. Slow. Don't run. Go. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. I could call for a car now. I completely forgot. to Castillo's ships. Muy bien, Danny. You'll be boarding those ships as our assault element. Julio, where are you? I'm in the I'm lighthouse. On TV. Sitting pretty with an RPG in perfect line of sight to the ships. Want to hear your voice, Raisa? Top of the tower, round in the chamber, scope dialed in. One? Welcome up, guerrillas! Air Juan is in disguise and my bullets are hungry! Remember, we take those ships and we punch a fucking hole straight to our island. We get one shot at this, Libertad. See you on the other side. This is intense, man. Wow. Danny, you want to use your camera to check out the defenses on those ships? Look before you leap. If Lita was with us now, she'd be smiling. And halfway to those ships already. If Lita was here, I'd kick her ass for keeping you a secret. Take care of yourself, Julio. Should kill the alarm. Better take out that camera. There's a lot. Well, see how this goes. On board. This is it, Danny. Clear those ships and don't be afraid of using their own weapons against them. Those turrets pack one hell of a bunch.
This is sick. Just keep me alive. They're throwing everything they have at you. They're scared. Not the fight, man. This is crazy, y'all. A little busy right now, Clara. The music and everything is sick. Let's go!
Nah, don't run. Don't run. Are we done? Clara, it's over. Let's get the fuck out of here. We couldn't have done it without you, Danny. We're not done yet. I'm going to hang back, set charges, and make sure those ships are blown to shit. Check in when you're done, Julio. Copy that. Danny, I'm on my way to pick you up. Where are you, Clara? Clara. Oh. What a yo, what a landing just now. Woo, we outside with it. Viva Libertad, Danny. Let's go. Look at that view, like the, that's crazy. Operation complete. Hell of a fireworks show. Have to give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Danny. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo were going to work shit jobs until we could scrape up some money. Open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream? Sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay, if we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free elections solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, born backed coups. Take your pick. Yarans will be killing Yarans for a generation. Uh huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yara is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? You have to do this. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Danny. Everyone. Who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. I just think you'd look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. Wow. Look at that scenery. That was beautiful just now. I'm glad I turned around. That was beautiful. Bienvenidos a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot! Libertad will kill you fucking through your eyes! Hey, Dos! Criminales! Oh, wow. Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn eh, can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival, not justice, not love. Not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come oh, mierda. Fake yards love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. 
But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Wow. Oh! Papa! You've proved your point. Put Julio down. Oh! Shoot. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio. I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Fine. Then, enjoy the show. Oh, shoot.